All right, so now that we got our WordPress installed, now it's time to choose a theme. So I highly suggest going with a paid theme. You could go with the free theme. However, the free themes are not as versatile and you can't do as much with them. And it's a little bit harder if you're starting out to get exactly what you want with those free themes. So that's why I would suggest going with a paid theme. So right now I'm at themeforest.net and they have a lot of great themes here and there's also elegant themes and these are just two of the places that you could go to get um, uh, uh, themes okay and, th and they're paid themes what's cool about elegant themes though is that you have access to 87 themes and it's like a one-time fee of like I don't know 69 or 89 bucks or whatever the case may be it's like 60 bucks 70 bucks um, but you get access to all their themes and that's for a lifetime Okay, so they have really cool themes. Divi is a great theme to use, uh, not necessarily blogging, but it's just a great theme in general. Um, they have a couple more other blogging themes. This says 32 right here. So, Nexus, this is a cool theme, I've used it before. Um, but it really depends on what you want to do, and that's what we're going to kind of get into once I go over theme force here. I want to show you some stuff that's pretty cool about most of their themes. And some of these themes have those features as well, but not as much as the theme force ones. And the thing is, the, these ones with elegant themes are probably going to be a little bit more difficult to kind of get it to where you want it to look like. It's not as simple as the one I'm going to show you. But nonetheless, they are great themes, and um, you know you could uh, you could get all of them at, at one go. So. That's elegant themes. And then, okay, so over at Theme Forest, you can just type in like blogging, okay? And blogging will bring up all these different blogging themes, okay? So, one thing you want to look at whenever you get a theme is you want to make sure they have ratings, okay? This one only has four, they have sales. And you want to make sure those things kind of line up with everything. So, for example, this one right here, Grand Blog. $44, 5 stars, 13 ratings, 356 sales. Great. Okay. I might be a little bit less inclined to do this one, the mini time minimalist theme. Four ratings, four stars, 19 bucks. Yeah, this one's cool. 44, 329, 2,500 sales, and it's got that rating. So this would be something that I might want to look at. Um, and there's all these other ones in here too. Uh, so let's see what that fast blog looks like. Let's go live preview. Okay, and keep in mind you can change these colors and settings and everything else, but this is all right. It's got the, the blog type layout here. It's got this little rollover effect, which is kind of cool. Um, theme options. And it's cool when you preview these sites just to kind of go through everything. Okay, custom Favicon. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's all right. You know, it's got this cool little widget right here, which is up here. And uh, here's the skin colors. All right, it's got the calendar type deal, a little about. Okay, not bad. And like I said, you can go through all these and, and see what exactly you like and what you want to do. Uh, however, the one I'm be using is called GoBlog. All right, in GoBlog, um, it's a responsive. You want to make sure the sites are responsive. That means like mobile friendly. View them on your mobile phone. Uh, view them on your tablets. And almost all these themes should be responsive. It's if it's not, don't get it. Okay, as you can see, this one's forty nine dollars, which is fine. It takes a little bit of money to uh, make a little bit of money, right? So if you want to get started, um, this is a great theme to use. And there's a link I'm going to put below the video that you can uh, go here and um, look at this particular theme. If you just type in Go Blog to the search, type in Go Blog, and this one will come up and you want to make sure you get the responsive WordPress blog theme but let me just show you it real fast okay so this is the the theme 
and this is the theme I'm using for the workonlineformula.com as well. Okay, and it's got the big pictures here. All right, it's got you can put a slider in the sidebar. You got your social media widgets here. It's a very nice, clean layout. You get calendar, your tags. Um, but what's really cool about this one is you go to theme options and you go to add management. All right, if you are going to monetize your site with AdSense, this is great because this allows you to put your AdSense below the post title, below post content ad, okay? Show after X paragraphs. This is a huge one right here. This is worth the $49 altogether, okay? They should, it's known fact and Google statistics and everything else that the best performing AdSense ad is the square box after the first paragraph all right that that AdSense ad performs the best okay and so you just put one and then you paste your AdSense code there um, <clears throat> and I'll go through all this and set up and everything and it's got this cool footer too it's pretty cool okay your recent post the thing you want to avoid the thing you want to avoid whenever you're going to um, looking over these blogs and everything is one of those newspaper types of blogs, okay? Because the thing is, like, you don't need a lot of information for those sites to make them look full, okay? With with this particular Go Blog feed, you, you know, your post stands out. Your post is there. It's not jumbled up with a bunch of other posts and everything like that. You don't need a lot of content to fill it out. Um, I'm trying to look for one. This one's loading still, the one I just clicked on. Um, let's see here. Actually, if we go back to Elegant Themes here, this Nexus one, okay? This is one of those sites I'm talking about. Like, it's going to take a lot of content to fill it up. Because if you look at the home page, okay, you see all these posts, 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 and then it's got your other posts over here. And then, okay, so here's the Uber blog that I just looked at. All right. So you see how much content is on here? A lot of content. These are all different posts. All right. Post, post. See all this? This is, it, it just, this is a great, like, second blog. Like, okay, so you... You've got your first one up, you're running, you know what to do, you know how to write content, you know how to get all your stuff out there, and <clears throat> this would be kind of like, okay, I, I need to move up one level. This would be the blog you would get, some similar to this. Um, and they do have different options, like you could do the one column, but it's made, remember it's made for this type of look. Okay, you could do this one, but it's made for the other type of look. And you see right here, it's saying you can place an AdSense ad here, whatever you want to place right there, you can place there. But if you go back to the Go blog, <clears throat> to me, as a designer, this just looks better. It's simpler, it's easy to use. You could put your recent post, popular post up here. Um, but it's just going to be easier for somebody to come and, and find a blog that they want rather than going through this because because if you think about it you would need five blog posts to fill up that top area okay you need okay four blog posts to fill up this top area so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get this go blog and uh, we'll be we'll be on our way when we get this up and running